I'd like to call the uh, workshop meeting to order. Today is Tuesday, October 2nd, 2018. Turn your mics on. Uh, turn our mics on. Um, we'll do the Pledge of Allegiance. First. Sure, why don't we do the Pledge? We don't usually do the Pledge of Allegiance, but let's do it since we're going to have a moment of silence. That's exactly right. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If we could remain standing, I'd like to do a uh, uh, moment of silence, or we would like to do a moment of silence in remembrance of Ted Tarr. Uh, Ted Tarr, I think, did 17 years on the Board of Selectmen, um, as well as the Planning Board, and he gave uh, a tremendous amount to this town and was in our audience as recently as a couple weeks. And he passed away recently. and. Uh, there was no question about it. He loved the town of Rockport and all of, all of its people. So if we could just pause for one moment and uh, remember the memory of Ted Tarr. Thank you. Okay, so we are just waiting. Um, we are just waiting to get, we're trying to mm -hmm. fix our new fancy screen here. Um, while we're waiting, I don't mind doing a, a minute or two of public comment, but I would ask um, that this, that the public comment, we'll do another public comment later in the meeting as well, but let's try to keep it not to just begging for certain streets to be plowed before we have a workshop scheduled, which is to kind of work out details, opinions, the whole thing, which we're going to do. And so I, Try to keep an open mind going into this, and then we'll have public comment at the end. So you maybe try to use this for more questions or things that you want. hope that we cover tonight. And just state your name and address for the record. Anyone? The agenda is just to, for the board to dis discuss plowing private roads. And um, as you know, or m may not know, in what year, Mitch, did we, did, did we adopt? 1974. So what, did, what exactly did we do then? We adopted? The town accepted Chapter 40, Section 6C. Okay. Uh, which allowed the town to. Which allowed the town to continue funds. to expend public funds to plow private roads. So basically that kind of cleared up a mistake that had happened, I don't know, years and years ago just with record keeping. Yeah, it was right. Uh, 2015. 15, May 2015. Yeah. What, what is the agenda item right now? It says plowing private roads is the okay. agenda How item. How is that communicated to the town? Our agenda? How is this agenda, this meeting to discuss that, communicated to people? Uh, as with all selectmen meetings, it's posted upstairs on the official town bulletin board, and it's posted online. It's posted online, and it was discussed at it, at least the last several Board of Selectmen Board of meetings. Selectmen's meetings when we address when we set our meetings for yeah and then um, anytime there's a workshop we don't typically and usually unless there's like a time crunch or emergency make motions or make any decisions in workshops they're basically for board discussion and to kind of work things out and then we would put any action that we're going to take on a subsequent um, actual meeting agenda and then if we were going to make uh, any changes to a policy like this, well, we, we can make changes to our policy. And then if we were going to make any changes to who we plowed, whether to stop plowing or start plowing more people or less people, we would have a public hearing to discuss that as well. Yeah, and that would, excuse me, we're, this, is, this isn't just an open. I'm, I'm Stephen Cropper of 23 kids. OK. Okay, so I would. Um, I mean, I get red alerts all the time from the town. Yeah, so we have meetings almost every week about 
a ton of items, and the way to keep up to date is to look at the website or come into town hall. So or watch our meetings on television. Okay, that's fine. Um, and so no change, no official changes would be made tonight. It's just discussion. Any official changes that would be made to, to the plowing okay. private roads list, we would have a, pub a public hearing, which would be advertised um, on an agenda item, then also advertised in the Gloucester Times. I believe seven days or uh, there, there isn't a minimum. There isn't a minimum. There's it minimum. would be advertised in the Gloucester Times. Okay. Um, Toby? So we are sending a non We're going to have to have people come Yeah, to sorry. Do you mind yeah. coming to the microphone? We're going to have to so it's on yeah. mic. Toby Arseni in 95 Granite Street. I see Rich Silva and Joe Parisi here. Were the DPW commissioners invited? Um, I don't know if they were invited. The commissioners were, were aware of the meeting. They're aware of it. Yep. yep. Uh, I, I feel strongly that they should be here. Uh, the other thing is, uh, have, have you got from the, the commissioners a, a list of, of the private roads which they believe are, are dangerous to plow uh, because of uh, the, the uh, possibility of injuring either the equipment or the operators or, injure, or the likelihood of injuring private no. property? No. Well, I think you should have that too, and that should be incorporated in the rules. Well, there was an exception list at one point. I thought that was put out. Didn't you give us an exception list of of streets that weren't um, that didn't meet criteria as you folks saw? Correct. Yeah, I think you, and you have that list right, right. there. So oh, we, that are on we, this uh, list. We do have. Yeah. It. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. But yeah. there's a criteria that says any road that is in poor condition uh, right. could be subject to be taken off the list. Right. Right, but exactly. That's, we'll that's in our criteria. Right, that is in our criteria. Yes, thank you, Joe. Um, yep. That's okay. It's actually more for the people oh, who sorry, watch on television. Back. We've gotten a lot of comments recently that in the microphones they can hear us really well, but you have to speak into the mic. Okay. Sandy Anderson, 13 Caleb's Lane. Um, I'm here more to learn about the discussion, but will you be clarifying what the cost savings? estimated cost savings of stopping plowing would be? If we did. Mm -hmm. um, if we did. We have no way to do that right no, now. No, at, at one point. That's not on the, that's not part not of the right. discussion yet. No. No. Okay. I don't believe so. We don't okay. have any numbers yeah. to support it. Okay. Yeah. And then this workshop isn't on the calendar, the town meeting calendar. Just the as an FYI. So um, it, 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 it's under the normal posting processes. It's listed under the posted meetings. I'm not sure why okay. it wouldn't necessarily be on the calendar, but it is, it did meet all of the legal posting requirements. No, I, I believe you. I'm just letting you yeah. know yeah. it's not okay. on the calendar. Okay. Yes, well, thank okay. you. We'll sure. double check for you. Dick Gage at 7B Caleb's Lane. How you doing? Hi, Dick. Thanks for having us. I have a quick question then. What is the purpose then if it's not a cost uh, effectiveness measure? The purpose of what? Of looking at not plowing private roads. So um, I don't think we're necessarily looking at not plowing private roads. I think that's a rumor. I think for the past several years, um, we have been talking about, uh, about looking at the list, updating the list. Over time, people have come to us at one time, the DPW came to us and said, can we cut down the list? But we haven't, act this Board of Selectmen hasn't actually addressed it, so I wouldn't make any assumptions that, that we are looking at chopping down the list. Okay, then Until I, I misled this proposal, uh, misread this okay. proposal that I have in my hands. Oh, okay. It clearly stipulates that there are 80 roads that have been defined as not being plowed and eight roads that they would continue to plow based on the criteria that they have listed. What, what proposal? Oh. So the selectmen have not issued any proposal, so I'm not sure what. Uh, right. So. We're gonna, we anything that was put forward in the past was merely part of any information that was given to the selectmen um, for informational purposes to guide in that decision making process. No decision has been made. It was just recommendations. Well, and I understand presented. that. Too. Yeah, yeah, I understand a recommendation. Right. So, but, but it's pretty clear in this proposal. What, 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 proposal? what proposal? All right, all right. I think I think everyone <laughs> needs to just relax a little yeah. bit. All of yeah. us, everyone in this room. We're going to go through this process. We're going to look at, yeah. look at the roads and so forth. We're not going to go on uh, assumptions. We're not going to go on Facebook things. We're just going to relax and just go through this and we'll take methodically. Methodically. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you. Yeah. Right. So I will ask just nothing because has nothing has been decided. There have been nothing. The, the Board of Segment has put out no proposal or anything. 
So I'm not sure if maybe something was put out by someone erroneously. Yes. I'll share it with you after the meeting. Great. I would Please honestly do. love to Thank see you. it. And if it was on Facebook, I missed it, which makes me feel like good yeah, because maybe I'm, I've been I'm spending less time I'm on okay Facebook. Facebook so. <laughs> yeah. um, so let's. Yeah, let's, it's all let's good. Start out, my recommendation yeah. would be to start the conversation. Yeah. Well, does anyone else? Are we good for now? Great. Okay. And our high tech TV is working for a moment. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, Checks in the mail. <laughs> Okie doke. All right. So, um, I know that in the, I don't know, 10, 11, 12 years I've been on the board, this comes up every few years, right? It, like every, it usually comes up in this, usually comes up in November when it's too late to make any changes, no matter what they are. Then we kind of promise ourselves that we'll deal with it in the spring and then, so this is actually the early, I feel like this is early for us. Um, Mitch, Mitch has handed out the list of private roads. Um, I know um, several years ago the DPW kind of came to us and before we accepted the statute saying that we could plow private roads there was some question is is it legal for the town to plot mm -hmm. to plot to continue to plow private roads. The unique thing about Rockport is that the vast of well, all of our private roads that are plowed and I believe there are 86 of them right now excuse me are um 90. 90. they're all open to the public so one of our stipulations has always been that for a private road to be plowed it has to be accessible to the public there can't be any no trespassing signs i actually remember one or two being taken off years ago because the people that lived on it w didn't refuse to remove the the no trespassing signs um which was fine but that made them ineligible to be plowed and so um, over the years, the kind of conversation has evolved. And my opinion, and I think I've shared this with all of you in the, in the past, and I think it, in just kind of informal discussions probably about planning this meeting, is my thought is that all of the people who have um, met the criteria or been added to this list at one point or another for you know reasons by former selectmen or the DPW, they pay the same amount of taxes <laughs> as people on public roads do. And um, many of these people have been plowed for, I'm not sure how long we- 74? Yeah. Since 1974. So, that's older than me, Paul. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> for, yeah, we'll yeah. just say over 40 years. Charming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Isn't she cute? Yeah. So, cute? I, you know, I mean, t in, in all honesty, like, when we brought this passing the statute up in front of town meeting, it passed unanimously. I was almost thinking, goodness, is this going to be really awkward? It's going to be people on public roads versus people on private roads. And it passed unanimously. And afterwards, I was like, you know what? I shouldn't be surprised in this town. Like, we're all together. You know, we say that, like, the schools and the DPW, like, we all share the same pot of money. And it, I have the same feeling about the private roads, I guess. Um, Several of these roads, I do feel, should probably be made public roads, which would actually increase our Chapter 90 money, which we've discussed doing in the past, but that's a separate mm -hmm. um, discussion. So Mitch and I had a long, Mitch and I have spent about a week working on this, just kind of tossing ideas back and forth, and then we had a call with town council <coughs> yesterday. Um, so I, we, what, we, what Mitch sent out was a proposal that we came up with that would continue to plow all of the private roads that we currently plow so it wouldn't drop any and this is obviously what is up for discussion i just wanted to put something on the table sure. and then it gives a method for people being able to apply to the board of selectmen to be added to the list and i used basic we used basically the criteria that the dpw had been using but we tweaked it a little bit which we can um, a lot more. And then I know, Don, you have some proposed amendments mm -hmm. as well that we can. Do you want to just to read that so people who are here? Sure. I think not everyone. Or yeah, maybe we can have Mitch go through it. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Certainly. Yeah. And just a note there are several areas, <coughs> excuse me, in each of these that are uh, in bold. Those are additions to or changes uh, from the uh, current criteria that's in place. So the draft so criteria the does have change. You should just explain the change. Yes, right? I will. I will okay. uh, point that okay. one out. Specifically. Thank you. Uh, number one, the private way must be open to the public 
and shall not have signage that would restrict public use for travel, such as private road or residence only. Number two, the private way must be needed for public safety, i.e. hydrant on way, emergency access to a beach, crossover road, as determined by the Board of Selectmen. Three, there must be a minimum of three residences. A residence shall be defined as a separate structure abutting the private way. In this one, we didn't add anything. There was a uh, reduction. So in the prior uh, criteria said three year-round residences. Year-round uh, is eliminated in this particular draft. Number four, the length of the road shall be at least 300 feet. Number five, the road shall be maintained at all times in such a condition so as not to cause damage to the town's snow plowing equipment. Number six, the private way shall provide an area for the disposal or placement of snow and a turnaround area sufficient for the designated snow plow equipment. And so then, before you go on, yep. I just want to make it clear. So this wouldn't apply, this is separate from the list of people that are already being plowed. So the, pe the, uh, the list of people that are already being plowed. They're like grandfathered. If, if yeah. we agreed to do that, we yeah. would make a separate motion not having to do with this policy to continue to plow okay. them. Does that make sense? Yeah. So this would be for people who aren't already on the plowed. List. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there are additional, a couple of additional items. Owners of private ways who meet all criteria and who wish to be plowed by the town shall petition the Board of Selectmen for inclusion on the approved plow list. The town shall promulgate the necessary petition forms and all owners on the private way must consent to such service. The town shall receive fully executed license and general release agreements from all owners on private ways prior to the commencement of plowing services. The town reserves the right to terminate or refuse snow plowing services should all criteria as determined by the Board of Selectmen not be met. The approved plowing list shall be maintained by the Office of the Board of Selectmen with copies on file with the Department of Public Works and Town Clerk. And some of that is because the DPW commissioners have told us, frankly, they don't, they just want the, the policy part of it taken out of their hands. They'll plow whoever we tell them to plow or not plow, but they, they want the decision to rest with us, which I think we've discussed Why is before. That? Because the it's it's more political and they they would rather it's I think we're going to have a very similar discussion with them over the sewer capacity in a couple of weeks, mm -hmm. because in their mind it's um, they want decisions that can be objective and you know whether or not a property is able to be added to the sewer as opposed to you know more subjectively what type of development do we want in town they don't want to be deciding that right right and I, and I recognize that yeah I think some of this comes with the DT. <laughs> right? Well, part of it is I don't want them to quit either. Joe has a question. <laughs> no, right. I, I, <laughs> they get paid so much more. Please. There are DPW commissioners in charge of roads, but only public roads, not private roads. So that's where they are. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, no. No. oh that's that makes okay. Sense. That makes sense. Yeah. I just know that they get paid so much, I don't want them to quit <laughs> over dealing with private as roads. As much as us? <laughs> as much as us, yeah. Actually, they get more than more us more now. Do yeah. They? Yeah, well, there they you go. Yeah, that's oh, all right. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. But everyone does, so. That's all right. Yeah. Um, That's great. So, uh, yeah, so Mitch bolded the changes. Um, we just put more, obviously, in the selectman's hands. And then I think the 300 w was, a, was used in prior criteria. And the 300 was also recommended by um, council, as 300 seems to be a number that... Um, she said the one thing you have to make sure of is that we're not plowing driveways, like literally just driveways, and the 300 feet seems to kind of take care of that issue. And they see that with other towns? Yeah, she looked yeah. these over and she said, um, she said these seem totally reasonable, and she kind of gave us some other, she gave us another tip that other towns, oh, she said some towns, um, which I thought was interesting, Joe, prioritize the private roads for their DPW, which I assume you guys already do. I don't know. In, term, in, what sense? in we terms have, of plowing them. We have plow routes, okay? yeah. so we look to be the most efficient in how we accomplish uh, the roads and the routes, whether they're pl uh, private or public. Yeah. And I mean, my guess is you're not doing like the tiny private roads, you know, that have two houses before you're doing Broadway, right? Like, we start and we rotate. So if they're starting, I would imagine they were starting the main drags and yeah. they would go right. and hit the side streets as it's most convenient. Yeah, so. yeah. she said sometimes just prioritize them in terms of like 
numbers of people, you know, but obviously that's a deep, that's like an operations decision that we wouldn't be into. I think some, I think the, I have, and Mitch will have it up here in a minute with, the, with what I sent, because I, I put these together today after I got this, I immediately did them and immediately sent them out. So I, I wasn't delaying anything on getting these out. I just want to be clear on that. I know you're concerned about that. But I, I have some changes, and, and this is one of them. I'm not asking you to jump ahead to it now, because I think we should discuss what was there first. Then we can move on to the amendments and see if they make sense and fit with the spirit of what's going on here. Okay. One of them, as you talk about this, is, is the 300-foot um, length of the road that's needed, and I made a change to that because we're in a small town. We have small streets, and not all of them. I mean, my street for one of them is 86 feet long, and there are four houses on the street. Um, I have, there's a hydrant on there, there's utilities on there, there's everything, so it, it, it would absolutely be considered. However, you know, others might not be, and maybe something, maybe 300 feet is, is a fairly decent distance. So uh, what I don't want to do is exclude anything. We're trying to attract people to come in and potentially build, maybe do different things in the town. I, I don't want to handcuff those efforts by, um, by detracting on town services from them. Yeah, I agree. We just have to make sure that we're not by making that switch, just including driveways. Does that make sense? There's language that addresses that as well. So you'll, you'll, on the um, on the amendment. Well, one of the questions I would have: Are we talking about that now? No, just I. I okay. My suggestion would be stay with what we have here. Yeah. Okay. And then okay. we'll go on okay. to the rest. So comments on this? No. So this would just be for people who aren't already plowed. Right. And they so, would apply to us. Okay. So I have, a, I have a question. Being the newbie on the board, um, I was amazed living here all of my 68 years that 90 roads are considered private. And as far as I know, most of them have been plowed since I was a kid sliding on them. <laughs> um, I would think that those peop ones need to, and this part goes to, for us to discuss the other ones that we're questioning. Yes. I would want to get this front part out of the way first and maybe read the ones that are on here to allay people's fears because does, does everyone know who's in the audience and at home know what n ones are on here that are being plowed presently? And well, should guess, continue to. Yeah, I mean, if we could see if anyone had a question about a certain road. But that's that is what we're doing. We're saying right. that these roads will continue to be plowed. Right, but I think people would like to know what roads are on those. That oh, so basically, I think if your road is plowed, I mean, should I? I right. can, I'm happy to ask if there are questions about specific roads that that people have. I mean, it would take two seconds to run down the list of ninety. Ninety, <laughs> just naming them off, so people would. But say that, yes. I think the easier way would be because this would be for the benefit of the people here, yeah. correct? Yeah. So if anybody has a question on whether your road is included, perhaps that's a way. Does anybody have a question on that? I'll go through the chair um, as to whether <laughs> you're included. Is anybody uh, not sure if they're included on the list that would be, we'll call it grandfathered in for lack of a better term for right now? Yeah, I don't know what that list is. I can see. Okay. So why don't I just read the list yeah, quickly? Just read I'm happy to just well, run okay. down the list for TV. Like for the, uh, does that make sense? So there's a couple that say no in there, just to, as a point, it isn't just a straight town. Oh, okay. Maybe oh. Yeah, okay. Keep a pen for one second. So these will be the towns that are allowed. These are, these are roads that, that, that are already plowed, that are currently plowed. And will yeah. remain plowed. being plowed. Yep, and that would, and that under this current discussion would continue to be plowed. Yep, yep. I just want to make sure I don't read these notes. Hold on one second. There are just two in here for some reason. <laughs> okay, ready? Um, Agawam Lane, Athena Way, Autumn Lane, Back Beach Way, Boulder Top, Briarstone, Briny Way, Broadway Terrace, Brooks Road, Caleb's Lane, Camborne Way, Captain's Way, Castle Lane, Cathedral Ave, Chapel Lane, Charles Street, Chart Court, Clement Street, Kelowna Road, Darby Lane, Dodds Lane, Driftwood Road, Driftwood Way, Echo Lane, Edgemere Road, Evans Way, Francis Way, um, upper part of Frank Street, Gannon Court, Gap Head Road, Gott Avenue, Greystone Lane, Haddow Road, Henderson Court, Heritage Drive, Highland Road, Highland Street, Highview Road, Hillside Road, Hooper Court, Housing for the Elderly, Irvana Road, Jordan's Lane Extension, King Street Court, Laurel Acres, Lois Lane, Lozant Place, Lucia Lane, uh, Main Street Rear Highland, Marchant Street, Marshall Lane, Mary Helen Way, Moraine Court, Mount Pleasant Place, Monroe Drive, Ninfa Lane, Norwood Court, 
Oaks Lane, Old Penzance, Old Straight Smith Way, Pearson Way, Pigeon Hill Street, way off. Interesting. I don't know what that means. <laughs> and I live there. <laughs> I don't think you live on there. Way off. <laughs> <laughs> I think you it's missed. Finish. Yeah. <laughs> I think I you missed one? Old Country Road. Oh, no, no that one's a no. Oh, that's that one's a no. no. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, Pioneer Circle, Pleasant Road, Pools Terrace, Riley's Lane, Richards Ave, Ridgewood Terrace, Rocky Road, <laughs> Rutherford Way, Sea Mist Lane, also known as Candy Lane. Who knew that? <laughs> Seaview Street, Sheehan Terrace, South Street Court, Springfield Court, Squam Hill Court, Squam Road, the way to Carlson's, Stone Barn Lane, Straight Smith Way, uh, from Shetland to Marmion, Sunset Lane, Timer Way, Tregany Bow, Twin Light Circle, Union Lane, Warren Court, Whale Cove Road, Williams Way, or and Woodland Road. Great. Thank you very much. There were a couple of no's on there that should have been yes. They were... Um, Last minute corrections brought up in the no's column. Okay. Over to the yes. So I think Sandy Bay Terrace was a no. That's still, that is a yes. That is actually a public road, it's not a private road. Oh, Sandy Bay Terrace? Yes. Yeah, okay. Bay so Bay that's Bay a yes, not a no. That's a yes. Okay. Correct. And then there's one above that as well that should have been changed over to a yes. Old County Way? Old County Way. Oh. Oh, per oh so those were in the right area. They, they just still said no. Got it. Okay. Nice Great. Good, uh, okay. Perfect. But uh, just to be clear on the. Uh, Sandy Bay, it's um, terrace. It's a, that is a public roadway, hmm. and it was just that they and were they agreed to plow their own um, roadway, even though it was public. Interesting. Uh, until some period of time, most recently, where we took over that. Okay. So, huh. But it is currently public, it's, and it will be. It's yeah. public. Yeah. It'll okay. Continue to be public. So, so should, should we make a motion? That list, I guess, as so, a, yeah, I think as so. Does that make sense? To get that done first. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Yeah, I, I just um, made a tweak, but yeah, we'll just remove it. Okay. Um, well, should we make, are these, is that motion okay to make tonight during a workshop? I think so it's probably fine for discussion purposes, just so people aren't like panicked. It is, yeah. The board can certainly, it, it could vote. There's no right. prohibition on it. Right. Um, you could certainly choose to ratify it again later. Right. If you like. I think maybe that. So. I suggested maybe making a motion, the second motion that was on the table. It's just I move that the board approve to grandfather all private roads that were plowed during this current season. Okay. Just to like kind of keep the conversation going and so people aren't nervous about. Does that make okay. sense? Yep, yep. That's fine. Um, Denise. I, I got it. Uh, Madam Chair, I move that the board approve to grandfather all private roads that were plowed during the 2017. 2018 season. Motion, okay. motion has been made and seconded. Discussion on that? that I think that will just make people make feel sense. better yeah, in terms of. So that's yeah. good. So that's okay. one big okay. question. Is there a question? Well, first of all, that's going to be something that's come uh, up every year. And secondly, you said the two thousand seventeen season. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Ye
And so I, I get what you're saying, but then where do you draw the line becomes the issue. So that's the reason it wasn't put out. It wasn't because of a, where anything was trying to be well, brushed under the rug, it just the way right. it was. Not, I, I'm just trying to think of ways that you could Please, I'd love right. it. I think yeah, if absolutely. people watched our meetings, right. checked the website, right. stopped into town well, hall. Let's, let's be honest. I mean, I don't, I've been in town probably full time for 15 years, and I didn't know about the meetings. Well, that's fine. That's sad, though, because I, so I hope that you now have a link on your phone to our meetings. There you go. <laughs> and come down more often. Honestly, because part of it is like, you know. I do put that on there. Oops. <laughs> we'll do it for you after. <laughs> But um, but there's seriously there's a there's a link there's a really easy link on the town website to all posted meetings for all boards and committees, and one thing to do is every week look and see like what's affecting you well, and what you want to come into. Link to the town website with our email and have the email go out. We aren't we aren't currently we aren't currently set up for that right now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So Not what yet. what people can typically do you can subscribe to um, like the, basically the calendar feed. People could do that, but I would say um, it's a good rule of thumb that once a week take a look at the PDF yeah. on, on the posted yeah. meeting section right. on the town website. Right. And our meetings are also broadcast now on um, cable. Live. 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 Are they live yet? They're live. Clearly, they're we live, Becca. Yep. Oh, other. Well, it's a workshop, yeah. right? That's so exciting. If a okay, meeting. so there is a motion on the table. Perfect. Um, are there any more Question. comments from the board about this? A quick question. Yes. Just about the motion. Yes. All of these roads that are being approved because they've been plowed in the past, do all of, or any of them meet the criteria that you're going to have for, for the other roads? Yes. They all? No, I didn't say all of them, but most, the majority of them most do. Most of them do. Do any of them have private signs? No, and if yes. they do. Yes. If they do, they'll have oh, to be removed. Oh, if they do, they'll have yeah. to be removed. They'll, they'll have, have to be removed. Be removed. That makes yeah. sense. That makes sense. Yeah. I, that's not unreasonable. No, no. if they do, they'll no. have to be sense. removed. Yeah. Absolutely not. We've talked, I mean, private signs go up and come down all the time. My feeling is, is if the town is, is paying to plow your road, the private signs come down. Get rid of the sign. Tweak the motion. Okay. Uh, do you want to just amend, the, amend motion. the motion to say that? Yeah. Um, Okay, uh, Madam Chair, I, I, as an amended motion, I move that the board approve to grant, I'm going to do this on the fly. I move that the board, ap board approve to grandfather all private roads, providing that all signage uh, is removed uh, with respect to private roads or resident access only. Would that be acceptable? I, I would just say restrictive access Restrict signs. Okay, that, uh, that any signage that, that restricts um, access. Restricts access uh, and I want to finish it up here. All private roads that were plowed, that this will apply to all roads that were plowed during the 2017 2018 season. Got it, Eileen. Season. Eileen's got it. Okay, got second. It? Second. second. Motion right. has been made and seconded. Further discussion, board? I'm good. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Thank nice you. Nice work. Okay. Good. Okay, so now um, moving on. So this would be the draft criteria, and then there would be an application that. You know that would Mitch suggested like literally check boxes like right. we do for the liquor licenses. Mm -hmm. So how much time in advance would somebody have to get this information into us? I would say by December first. To get on the list. Yeah. yeah. Well, probably, but for, way before for that, that. For that season. Yeah, um, before I, I would then. think I mean, if they wanted it for the for season, jail. you'd probably need it October first. October. Yeah. Right. I mean, my is guess that, is that reasonable. Oh, but, I mean, going <laughs> forward, I'm moving forward from this year. We would have to in the you know, future. Yeah, in the future, yeah. I would but say. But we need to give people time, given that we're just talking about this now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. saying moving yeah. forward. Yeah. 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 Yep. Would that work? Would that December work? is really late. Logistically. More time is better. Certainly, we've got to determine how many. All trucks and drivers right. and yeah. all that. So I mean, yeah. maybe you and Joe could work that out. What do we, we work that June out. date on it? Yeah. You know, I, I still gives them you know plenty of time. To right. Do. I think what you what we could perhaps look at what could reasonably be expected to be the influx of people requesting that because I think the first part of it will come right up front. Right. You know, for the first year, right. and then after that, it'll be yeah. kind of a trickle. Yeah. You know, that will occur. So. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, one question that I have for for Joe is. What is the capacity of the DPW to add more roads to the plowing route? I mean, is that even possible? I mean, anything's possible with money and, and labor and <laughs> I equipment. Know. So with, there's going to be a cost. Yeah. 
money, it's 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 going to dilute and make the job difficult, yeah. really impossible to do a good job. It's going to dilute all the services to all the other roads in town. Yeah. So I mean, certainly I we would gear up with what? you know more contract services, um, making sure we have the equipment if it's not our own equipment um, on the roads that's necessary. Well, that would. I'm sorry. Go no, ahead. no. I was just going to say I don't think we're talking about tons of roads. I mean, I think a lot no, on the right. list are. I guess what I was just going toward is like shortening the criteria to 100 feet. I think like that, that would be my concern. Right. I think that, that would add, probably add. And it's it's let's we'll talk about that when the time okay. comes, and then yeah. we'll okay. extol on the virtues or okay. the detriments of it. Okay. That no, that's the only reason I brought it up. <laughs> yeah. No, it's fine. But I think one of the things that's important in, in looking at the criteria too is the condition of the roadway as we spoke yeah. about right. before. Yeah. Right. So I'm not sure if that's an amendment to what you have there or it's, some other. That's number f number five. At, at all times, that the um, the road shall be maintained at all times in such a condition so as not okay. to cause damage. And I think it would have, Toby. Toby, please stop. This is not an open discussion. We're asking the DPW director questions, um, and I think it's something where you guys would have to, in like, uh, inspect the road and you know give it a y yes or a no in terms right. of condition. I, mean, I guess in general whenever there's a concern about um, a private road whether it's already your grandfather or not I want to make sure that there's an opportunity for for the town to say hey we're going to not do this because the road is just in bad condition. I can't send you know contractors in there to do a road that you know is going to destroy their vehicles and we incur the cost of that yeah. know, damage or even our own vehicles and our own personnel mm -hmm. the damage and accidents that can occur because yeah. of that. I mean, I wonder, so when do, you, when do you guys do, like we've got, I got so many compliments. Is it, it's late spring, right, with the, the pothole filling? Well, see, <laughs> we get the most compliments about you guys when right. the potholes well, that's, are that's filled. That's part of the thing. Because we plow these private roads, we, we tend to do some um, complimentary, if you will, uh, right. repairs of potholes and things like that. We can only take it so far, right. but at some point in time, these private roads need to have some significant work done. And as you know, we can't spend public money on private road repair. Right. So does it make sense, perhaps, when you're doing that spring kind of road work to at that, to at that point, you know, you guys make a list and, and private roads that are in disrepair at that, time, at that point in the spring, you know, might get a letter saying, your road is in disrepair, you are in danger of like being dropped off the plow list, you know, your road will be inspected again October 1st. We can set up some system I like know. that. I, I, just, would, I, I feel would like think something that like that might sure. There should sense. absolutely be some yeah. sort of a, I mean, it shouldn't be just you're gone and that's it. There right. should be oh, some yeah. sort of a, oh, yeah. a process that and goes it's through. Just, and it's one of those things where, you know, it might just take everyone on the road kicking in some money and then have, you know, them having all the pothole, you know, something done. Right. I, I think between you know the selectman's office and, and the board of commissioners, we certainly can come up with some way of notifying um, those on those private roads. But ultimately, I think the decision to take them off the list, as the decision to put them on the list, would be right. yours. But we would give you recommendation after sort of hitting a roadblock, if you right. will, of, of non-repair. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um. We're gonna have a. We're gonna talk a little bit more, and then I'll allow for more public comment, just so we keep moving. Um, so I think some kind of system obviously yeah. makes sense. Mm -hmm. I right. feel like they can work that out. And then you'll obviously continue to do the the work that you've always like. You're not all of a sudden not going to do any pothole work on any private roads. We'll continue to right. do what you know, you're the, able to. Yeah, exactly. Like we are able okay. to some minor repairs. Right. Shouldn't that, whatever we use for a policy as far as, you know, uh, the road and whether it's going to be on or off and is in danger of anything, shouldn't that be part of the policy so people know what it is, uh, what we're talking about as far as what Joe would come up with in, in conjunction with the office? Yeah, I mean, or I wonder if that just goes into, they're going to, can you five. scroll up? I, um, no, keep going. There we go. The town shall f receive fully executed license and general release agreement. So we're going to make them sign something. Wonder if what they sign says on mm. it. That's not what I'm talking about. It's kind. Of, what I'm talking about is if if Joe or Rich deem that some road is in danger of coming off of the list, there should be remedies that are that people know about in advance about what will happen if things aren't done. So that really, I mean, if, if it's part of that. And they we'll can, back if, they, if they can make it part of that, that's fine. But in other words, j just in, in a general sense, the first time we're going to send the, re the, the, the abutters to the, prop, to, the, to the street, 
a letter that says you're in danger of losing it. Uh, you have 30, 90, whatever, how many days to rectify it. Yeah. And then what? there may be a second that yeah. goes off there. And then the third and final says you're done, you're off the list. Something that just spells out so people know what the process is. Yeah, that's fine. But again, I say. But I don't want I that to oversee. Just I want us to be covered by the road shall be maintained at all times in a condition. No, and that's right? fine. So and like it could be part of the agreement. That it could be incorporated right. in as part of the yeah, agreement. Yeah, they sign that. So it's that there, sense? and we and we know yeah. exactly what it is. That's all. Yeah, just to lay it out more. Exactly. Yeah. And that will make yep. more sense. So when people come to us and say, "Oh, we weren't told," we can say, "Yes, you." Here were. it is, and you signed. Yes, you were. So you know. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, that Does makes it make sense. sense to you guys. And that should help. That should help you guys out. That way, you also have a reasonable right list. You know, and if there's a, a road where you know people don't keep it in good condition and it falls off, you know, then we have a record of kind of what's happened with the roads. And I mean, I would I would submit that it should be kind of a three strike policy where the first is a warning, second is a follow up, third is that's it, and and it well, kind but of takes I, that but approach. But it might not even be that because <laughs> if the if if by the time it snows, it's not in good enough. Like, they just can't plow it. Do you know what I mean? Or right. you mean they get dropped off the list for good if there's three? If, it, oh, if it's I an exclusion to the list. Right. Oh. Right. I, mean, I was just thinking more that, like, once it's once it's fixed up, it's they're on it. Right. You if mean they like, maintain it, If you mean if, fine. like, three strikes you're yeah, out. Yeah, and you're on. And you're, like, you've been given the opportunity to <laughs> okay. remedy these situations. Yeah. Here it is. Sure. Here, we're coming at you again. And then the third time is that okay. you can't. So at least That's kind of like a second I tier of it. we're out there in the spring repairing you know private roads the minor potholes there'll come a time where we see a road is in such bad condition that we deem it to be in need of repairs that the property owners abutting the road should pay for and that uh, we will give them notice in the spring we can you know if nothing happens at a certain point as we're getting closer to winter a second notice and then a third notice of default if you will just prior to the plowing season so it could happen you know when that one uh, time frame from our spring assessment to when we're ready to plow. Yeah, that's that's kind of exactly what I was saying. Three, you're right. So that's fine. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, and Sarah, a question: yeah. Draft criteria for plowing private roads should should that say draft criteria for plowing additional private roads that aren't being plowed roads, now? Um, so, yeah. Added no. uh, after. Mitchell got all the dates okay. on it. Every, so it fits with our policy. Okay. Because the additional yeah, roads that we have listed are 74. Yeah. And again, no. being well, a, a rock lot of them aren't Right. And a lot of them are literally driveways. Right. They are. I mean, they're, that they're, they're roads that the I've town. never heard of. Right. And right. a couple of them are like the Anchorage condos. That's pri privately. Yeah, yes. There are some of these that are very clearly driveways. Yeah. Well, and, and a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, some yeah. of the stuff that I have that I put in the amendments again that you'll see in a minute, uh, where I I put them in because it w I was looking at it as one policy, not taking it in two sections as we had right. Right. meaning prior. Right. So some yeah. of the amendments now that this is done may not be relevant. Right. Got it. Um, but I just put them in there just to make yeah. sure. Yeah. 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 Like an example on the bottom list is. Um, Excuse me, if you guys want to talk, would you mind just stepping out for a minute just because the background noise and also it's just yeah. not, we're trying to have a meeting. You can welcome to step in the hall and then come back in. Um, for example, like Willow Lane, my family used to live at the bottom of Willow Lane. It was, it was a driveway yeah. with a couple houses at the top. It was never named until they put the new 911 system in and then they had to name it. Yeah. But, um, but, you know, it's never been plowed and it wouldn't. Um, so I think a lot were probably added then as well, mm -hmm. maybe, where, you know, places had to be named, but they're not. Right. Um, and, and just looking at the list, I mean, a lot of them are privately plowed now by condo association type things, mm -hmm. Rogue Point, Anchorage condos, that type of thing. Yeah. And, and others are just a, a, um, a property that got developed and they put a house in the backyard. And yeah. they named the driveway a road. Yeah, and I mean, and to be honest, like we, I think we set our criteria, and yeah. I mean, for yeah. the those criteria did loosely work. The one we changed, um, the three residences, because it used to say year-round residences, but there was no way to tell no. wh right. what was year-round and what wasn't, and you know, some people come up and we, you know, there was just that seemed kind of arbitrary. So we switch them, but I mean, I think one way we're going to learn is if we set our criteria, and then we'll see, you know, mm -hmm. yep. kind of who applies what, what and what. Yeah. yeah. Um. 
Does that make sense? Yeah. I don't know. More yeah, thoughts? I think it does. Yes. Do you want to did, did you want to, Madam Chair, uh, perhaps move down one at a time through these and see if there's any amendments on each of the criteria? Sure. And yeah. then and then discuss um, Don's amendments. Sure. So um, the first one, I think we already took care of that one, mm -hmm. right? We added the private. Anyone have any changes or additions nope, nope, to that I one? Think that's no. Okay. Um, this one um, also gives us and then the DPW if they wanted to add roads for safety, you know, sometimes there's safety reasons or to get to, um, like, at the end of Pleasant Street to, to access certain things in town, to access equipment in certain areas of town that the DPW needs for emergencies, that right, type of right. thing. Mm -hmm. So that gives us the ability to add those. Any questions or comments on that one? Okay. No. Nope. Um, I would just uh, maybe say change the word from must to may, perhaps. Oh, that probably makes yeah. sense. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because it is, yeah, because that's up to us, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. Good catch, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> the lawyer and me. <laughs> Counselor. Um, <laughs> So I think three residences was also that was the same. Yeah, and I think the lawyer was happy to see that. She she was that was a, a, a pretty significant point yeah. for them to be. Aware yes, of. she said um, three seems to uh, among communities three seems to be a common threshold with not being a driveway versus being a driveway. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> um, and then there's the 300 feet. Should we come back to that one since I know, or do you want to just talk about it now? Well, just go in order. And, and yeah. Sure. I, yeah I, I mean, I, Mitch, can you, now that we're doing this, I didn't change any of the original language. I put anything I changed in red and kept the original. So this is, uh, this is what I have on here, and I don't want it to prejudice any of your other amendments they may want, but here it is. Uh, length road should be at least 100 feet excluding driveways and easements. And I added that in. I talked to Mitch about this today. And, Mitch advised that that would be the way that that would work um, better for this. I just think I think 300 feet I think is a long way to go, and I'm not trying to add even more to this, though it does have the potential. But however, it's not like we have all kinds of of, of housing coming in here, unfortunately. I mean, I'd love to see it, mm. but we don't have it. So mm. in order to make for 300 feet, I mean, that's that's a big street. Mm. You know, so I think I thought three hundred. I thought a hundred feet, and that that could be open. And maybe maybe it's one hundred and fifty. I don't know what the right number is. I was just trying to not exclude so many um, people or houses from the equation. Yeah, I I get that. I understand. I guess my question goes back to. Um, how many streets would that add? Right. Like, are we going to add a couple dozen more? Like, right. C just cost wise, I think it's. I and totally then, get see why you're thinking of it. Yeah. Right. Well, I we just, would look at. Yeah, but these don't have um, under the nose. There yep. aren't. There aren't many. Most of them don't even have lengths on them. So we'd have to get the lengths on mm -hmm. most of these. Mm -hmm. And but then, we could do that. And maybe if, if you have that, I'm sorry. These, yeah. Maybe if you have that, then that gives you the determining factor of what that number should actually yeah, be. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I mean, right. I just would like to know if we were to reduce it to a hundred. What's the universe of mm -hmm. 100 feet right. streets mm -hmm. that right. we'd be adding? Right. And and, how many, and how many of those are actually driveways? Right. That would be interested to know. Right. And I mean, I, or is maybe 200 the threshold or two? Do you right. know what I mean? Is yeah. it something under 300 but more than 100? I'll, I'll be honest with you. That that number was fairly arbitrary. I, yeah. I just I thought about it to be the least burdensome on the people that are paying the bills in this town, trying to help them yeah. out. No, and I that, get that's it. where I'm going with this. Yeah. But also, you know, allowing what's going to be doable. Of course. For our right. hardworking right. EPW. So, um, yeah. And an example of like 200 feet is Chardy Court. Is what? Chardy Court. We all pretty much know where Chardy Court is across from St. Joachim's. That's a short little cut And that's there. already plowed. That's already plowed. Right, that's one we agreed to for the private that we just passed. Yeah. But that gives oh. you a, 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 a 200 right. feet versus 100. 100 seems okay. a little small to me. Okay. Okay. I mean, I would I would be okay with two hundred, not three hundred. Uh, I'm not mired in yeah. in the hundred. Right. But I think I think. Uh, well, I'd love. Short. Uh, um, how so? How can we get the length? Is do you think the data exists on the lengths of the nose? Okay. It does. <laughs> well, we, a collective we, we head nod. We can okay. measure them on the GIS system. Okay. I mean, I wonder if if 
we just kind of get to a point where we're at a draft with this tonight mm -hmm. and then get that information for our next meeting and vote Good. on we'll it ta then. then table that and, just that and we, and we yeah. move yeah. on. Yeah. But I Good. think we're all, I totally get it that you're trying to, we're trying to help people, which, which is the all point, is. which is why, you know, that's we didn't want to cut is. people. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I think it just has to be something that's reasonable sure. and not, you know. And we also don't want to have dozens of people coming in and us having to say, you're a driveway, you're a driveway, you know, over yeah. and over again. <laughs> if and and that they still have to meet the criterion that there's enough room for the disposal of the snow and for the equipment to be right. able to turn around. True. And, right. <coughs> yes. And they would still have to get an okay by the DPW. So I, I like the phrase as far as, you know, trying to determine driveways and not a laid out roadway. In other words, there are meets and bounds to the roadway, not just sort of the traveled way through yes which is what property. which is what the lawyer said was a yeah it either is or it isn't she said in terms of adding roads right mm -hmm. okay Correct. so basically if it's a laid out roadway if it's not a laid out roadway do you have the lengths uh, we would have to sort of guess on it I mean okay. if we see that you know the the paved area is traveling up to the extents of one property or not then we can sort of measure that okay but Otherwise, we'd like to see where it's been, you know, sort of engineered to be cut out from taxable property. Right. There are easements, if you will, over taxable property. So if we're plowing this easement, you know, it's a driveway in essence. Right, that's right not legal. For, we're plowing over people's taxable property. Which property. is not legal. And the lawyer has. Which is something we, we certainly that, don't yes. do. That's addressed in number four. Right, you have that addressed. Right. Yeah, so that one. I think. I mean, maybe yeah. it's not sufficient. But, but it does say easement. I mean, I, I mean, I think it does. Would that does that work for you, Joe? It, did you say it was addressed in number four? Um, it says excluding driveways and easements. Yeah, I think there should there should be cl some clearer <laughs> definition somewhere built in somehow. But yeah, we, we might just have to be uh, more. Uh, uh, like what? I'm just, curious. Well, the phrase mm -hmm. laid out roadway. Well, okay. Mitch, yeah, Mitch can do it some, and then right. run it by the attorney. Well, I'm just curious what Joe's thinking. Yeah. That's I'd like to know what that is. So that, right. that when you see an assessor's map, you can see roadways that are clearly separated out from, you know, parcel boundaries. Okay. And so that's a laid out roadway. There's usually lengths and distances and all that to the map. Okay. Just making some <coughs> some yeah, notes totally. on this so that we can. Okay. Get it so, I don't want to add a ton of work, but it would be helpful if we get some more lengths on this in our little spreadsheet. Got them on it. Awesome. Thank you very much. He's going to do it in his sleep. Or, or he's come up at night, I think. He's, not, he's just not going home. He's just going to yeah. Take awesome. his coat off. Thank you. Um, I have spent more time, I probably in the past 10 years, this is like the spreadsheet I've probably looked at most since I became a selectman. It's nice that we're finally oh, doing sad. something about it and getting yeah. it done. Goodness so, gracious. Yeah. Um, okay, so that one's still open. And then... Mm -hmm. Number five, we talked about that one, and then um, since we're going to, I mean, I think it makes sense. Can you, maybe Mitch can fool around with adding the, the other detail. He can work with Joe on, like, the steps. Y yes. Mm. For, I think like. You knew, understand what the spirit of it is. I, I do. In ensuring. And that's all as, I need. As we yeah, do with any I'm other fine. building. Yeah. So and I think um, I'll, I'll, I'll workshop that with, with DPW a bit, and I think it, it may end up being procedure versus policy that we would codify it that way instead right. of whichever it way this. it's but more yes, appropriate. I, I, I understand yeah. the intent of yeah. I, ensuring I trust, that there's I trust appropriate notice. So that's fine. Yeah. yeah, but I think that's a really good idea to add that in there for sure. <laughs> and then um, number six, the preparation of the area for the disposal yeah, replacement of snow and a turnaround, which yeah. has always um, been the case. We just kind of moved yeah. designated. Sure. The, we just kind of moved that one around a little bit. But I have, an, I have a change on that. Um, as well, if that's if it works, is that Joe? This adjustment. What so for um, number six. Number six. Number six. A dry, and I again, I, I I had a conversation with Miss today, and this seemed to be the way that it works. And it, if it doesn't, that's okay. But a private private way shall provide an area for disposal, of placement of snow, and turnaround area sufficient for designated snow snowplow equipment. I mean, we have... So what do you do now, I guess, Joe, would be the question. Are there some down road roads that they're backing down? Are they turning around in somebody's driveway? How are they getting out of some of these? In some situations, it does require... It gets quite difficult and uh, dangerous to, to have to do that. But mm -hmm. preferably, we, you know, we would like to be able to push the road at the end of a dead end somewhere off to the side and have some ability to turn around and drive back out um, you know I don't know in the driving backwards in the middle of a snowstorm yeah. in some of these roads you could go off the, the side of the road yeah. pretty mm -hmm. easy in a, in a ditch or a gully it's happened 
Yeah. So. I guess I would wonder, it, would there be a liability right. to us if we were to allow um, a driveway or other private property to be used for this purpose? So the, the, well, we there the would, um, you, know, you we could certainly, do, don't we? Th th there would be a liability. Uh, the town could certainly put in its release that it would oh, waive right. that. Okay. However, That's I think the written permission, you know, you'd certainly. In, yeah. And it's yeah. written permission just for like turning around Snow or putting purposes. slow, not okay. for not for plowing. No. I just right. want to make sure okay. it doesn't, people don't okay. misunderstand yeah. that as like plowing. Because do so, we already do that? I just worry about as far as cars in the driveway, and if people are going to be all off the road and you know, we're going to have to make sure that they're not parking in the spot that we want to turn around, you know, storm to storm, storm yeah. get bigger and bigger. So it's, I just see that muddy in the water as far as. But if somebody time. signs off on this, do you think that they would obviously be, they'd be a, a willing party to the whole thing and would be make the, make the accommodations necessary so you guys could do your job? They would, they would have to, as far as right. us being able to right. turn around. You know, they have to provide an area of their driveway. Sure. I just... What happens if I it's just, a Friday night and, and people are coming? Cars, yeah. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's Christmas Eve. I people get, are parking. I'm, I'm comfortable with what they've done for years because, mm -hmm. like, it's worked, right? And right. we haven't had my my worry is opening this up to new roads, and then we have people who are like, "Well, I I told them I wanted the snow here, but I actually do you know what I mean? I don't want them right. to turn it into a private <coughs> snow plow but business." But if we're so, going to add potentially add more roads, these are things right. that are unforeseeable right now, so. Yeah. You know, I mean, at least that gives an avenue to do it. And again, I, I, nothing in this is, I'm not, you know, digging my heels in on any of this. These are just suggestions for people, for us to consider. That's all. Uh, I mean, that's just one that I would want us, like, with the deep, I would want, like, us to okay that with the DPW. Do you know what I mean? Because I don't, I just wouldn't want it turning into, like, that you guys are private contractors, you know, for new roads that are added. And people start being like, we don't like the snow there. We, you know what I right. mean? But I see what you're saying, like, you know, we're trying to make it easier. I just, maybe we could put, maybe if we left that in, what is it? What so I, I just, I just marked on, on what I'll consider the master copy the for the moment. Yeah. Question okay. mark that um, we'll, we'll Yeah, I mean, unless we now. put, um, you know, can you just go to John's for one second? Um, a driveway or other private property used with written, per like with written permission is acceptable, like um, with, um, approval from the from the selectmen or something. Do you know what I mean? So that people like so it's not automatic. So that would have that would be something that like a would, special case like a that would be in the okay. release that would have to something right. It would, would be all the language would be contained okay. within whatever somebody okay. signs. Yeah, I don't know. And uh, oh, go ahead. No, I can just see that kind of being problematic if property is sold and everyone on the street is saying you're going to turn around in my driveway and dump the snow in mine and then I sell my property and those people don't know about it and it's kind of encumbered my property that well this then is this would be this be a, would this become a yearly agreement so it would mm -hmm. so if that happened I mean I know I know it's makes, that. I understand but if, if but, but property sell property you oh, make right. a good point sure right. you know I you but make a very good point yeah that's so why what I happens if that person says no, I don't want anybody in my in my driveway right so that's why I would say that we should just leave it as it just very basic and not add the additional i just i just worry that it's going to really muddy the water if okay especially if i it's mean like on some of these they're short roads there's they're only you know i don't know i mean what if we left it out for now and then looked at the roads that's that fine. Were coming yeah. to us Take maybe that's the way to do it Take and it if, out. yeah and, and, and if that's it's fine. needed kind of on a case because clearly it's worked i mean right. you know like you guys there are roads that you, you have to turn I mean, around the, you, the you thing that i'm encouraged about is that this policy is finally going to get done and we'll have something right after yeah. that, it's tweaks. Yeah. Yeah. tweaks, and that's yeah. that's the good part. Yeah. So I'm fine okay. with that. So um, I want to just, and I do have to say back to that. Most of the time, these small roads are being plowed by small plows, and they do a great job of yeah. of getting in, getting out, and doing a good job of not Mitch, having to have so to much mind, stuff hmm. pushed um, against people's yards and stuff. If we could, I'm going to go back to mine for a second because I added two after the fact. Yeah. 
Um, and again, these may have already been addressed, but number seven, any roadways that have consistently been plowed prior to the adoption of this policy shall continue to be plowed without interruption. And I think we've addressed that, yes, so that by it first. So, that, so that's all set. We don't yeah. need that. Yeah. And then number eight, the DPW Board of Commissioners or the DPW Director can recommend roadways proposed for exclusion from this policy to the Board of Selectmen. However, final exclusion of any roadways from being plowed shall be at the sole discretion of the Board of Selectmen. Um, and I think, uh, I, uh, we, do we have that as well? Because I don't see the language on it. I just, if it's, if it's not written. Well, isn't that the way it works now? I, I mean, what's different yeah, about well, owners wish to be plowed to petition the Board of Select? Yeah. Uh, the approved plowing list shall be maintained by the Office of the Board of Selectmen with copies on file with the DPW and town clerk. I guess I don't see yeah. how that, that's different I from, no? I don't either. The DP can be recommend ro can recommend roadways proposed for exclusion. Inclusion. See this this talks about inclusion. Mine addresses exclusion. There are two different. So if you look at it, it's this is the inclusion on the approved plow list. Exclusion would become after the fact. So this is in other words what we just talked about a little bit ago. Mm -hmm. Which may have been which may have been addressed by those so the kind of the three strikes thing I talked about. Right. I think it, I think that's taken care of. And there. if that's fine, then that, I think that's it's okay. There. I think it will probably muddy it to add a not that, you know and I mean? that that's yeah. fine. That's and I no think our, it's really clear that it's the selectmen, you know. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Continue. Good. This is like this one. Yeah. Um accepting yeah, so this is just a statement, well, obviously. All criteria which should be separate from the criteria, just a statement saying that they have to apply, you know. Right. This is another one. That kind of application. I believe we already have a draft of a petition form that Great. will be utilized. Great. And my amendment on this I don't think applies anymore because of what we've already done, so I don't think yeah. that's necessary. Yeah. Okay. Um, that you did with the lawyer. Yes, yeah. yeah. so part. this is, this yeah. is this part. Uh, critical. Yep. Yeah. Who's going to be responsible Thanks, for guys. making sure that all of the abutters on the private road have completed and submitted their mm. forms? So the, the materials in this case, um, if they're petitioning to get on, we would pull the, the list from the assessor's <coughs> office, and, and our office would be responsible for basically going down the list of, well, okay, there's 10, there's 10 properties. Mm. If we don't get all 10 back, we aren't able to perform the well, service. I would say, I would actually, to not burden your office, I would say, that the application isn't accepted unless they're all in. All right, we could do. But that how too. do how do people on the road know that they they're go not to their neighbors? Oh, that they're that so they're, they're not going to be plowed because somebody's. You know what I'm saying? Well, they're not being plowed now. Right, but I send in. I live on a private road. Yeah. I send in the forms. Hmm, you have to get together with your neighbors. Okay. Yeah. On any private road in Put town. The onus on them. On any private road in town yeah. to make any changes with the town, you all have to come to the town. So maybe to just town. put that in the cover note or something, Mitch. Mm -hmm. that people Absolutely. should. Um, yeah, but okay, I think so just in terms of like workload for the like. Oh, I Debbie agree. Isn't, yeah, you know, sure. can't be calling <laughs> being like two, you know, number yeah. two and number six. No, 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 totally. It's agree. on them. Yeah, yeah. Can, yeah. Uh, just so they know they have to do yeah. that. And stuff has happened in my neighborhood before, where you know somebody comes around and says, "Are you?" Because we have a lot of like beach resident parking issues, yeah. and people come around and say, "Oh, like, are you interested in making it resident only on this side?" And you know, every and there are a lot of houses on my street. Everybody has to turn the paperwork. Sure. So what we'll look at it as any petitions um, for inclusion mu must have all of that material up front, or it won't be accepted. Okay. It'll be it'll be sent back. Yeah, to and it won't come petition. on our agenda until we're sure. Good. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. And Debbie is, you know, can work, can give people a list. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Is happy to well, like help. But she shouldn't have to chase. No. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Poor <laughs> thing. Imagine if we were like, <laughs> so all <laughs> she'll run screaming. <laughs> <from> <laughs> it would be like when she did the clickers at top of <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> um, and then I like that last one you did. Yeah. There, I had one just before that on the town <clears throat> reserves oh, the right. Did. And I don't know if it even if this would even apply again, but the town reserves a right to terminate or refuse snow plowing services should all criteria determined by the Board of Selectmen not be met. Uh, amendment stating, however, in their sole discretion, exceptions may be made by the Board of Selectmen if all conditions are not met. Um, you know, depending upon what that is, I, I don't know. We'd have to have the list of criteria, which we mm. kind of have, but it well, just gives us a little latitude on what we can do. I 
I mean, exception. I, I see. I see exactly what you're trying to say. I'm just wondering that the word the two word. the two like kind of sentences there just it 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 reads confusing to me. I'm just wondering if there's just an easier way to say it. Okay. Um. Like, is it the town reserves the rights to make exceptions, comma, terminate or refuse snow plowing? In other words, if you let's just just use a number. If you have five criteria yeah. that have to be met yeah. and one of them is not met yeah. and it then perhaps it, it allows the leeway for an exception to be made to right. something. Right. So what if we just said the ta the board of selectmen reserves the right to make exceptions, comma, terminate or refuse snow plowing services. That's the should same all, thing. Should all criteria yeah. is determined by That's the same. By I'm the fine with that. Just shorter, right? Yep. yep. Yeah. Does the same. Sorry, one, one more time, just so I make sure I get it in. So, um, the board so this is the draft one we're working off of. So okay. where, where would you like me to add? So, town reserves the right to make exceptions, comma. Yep. To terminate, refuse, or make exceptions. Whatever order. Right. Yeah. We should probably yeah, do make exceptions first, because that's the affirmative. Mm -hmm. And then terminate or refuse no applying services should all criteria. Uh, wait, or, what, what, could we just end it? To, or refuse snow plow, plow services? Um, I, I like just what he did. Right, but it doesn't, after services, it doesn't make sense. Or refuse snow plow services. What, it, um, yeah. Criteria, um, yeah, that's perfect. I think that's no, perfect. No, right. Yep. It, it makes sense. I, yeah, think it I, makes didn't, I didn't see the part to the left of his head. Yeah, no. <laughs> Sorry. Does that make sense? <laughs> so it basically says we can make exceptions or yeah. we can end you depending. Yep. Like, yep. Right. yep. Just gives you a bit of latitude. To do whatever. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Exactly. Which is, I think, what we're all aiming to right. do. Here exactly. Is we're not that's we're trying to help work. people out and not. That's work. right. Does that make sense to you, Mitch? It, it does. Okay. So if um, so, if we've hit everything on the list, so just to recap, the areas there are at this point two areas we need to review. Um, one of uh, excuse me, both of them in number four, uh, length of unplowed roads. GIS is going to take the measurements on those. Cleaning up the definition, laid out roadway, um, excluding easements and driveways. We'll work the language on that. And then um, I think that was it, actually. I should, this should probably. Was there something more that we wanted on five? So, okay, so five, five was going to, will end up most likely being the procedural piece of providing the appropriate notice if there's something wrong. Right, yeah. right. that you're going to work out with yeah. Joe and Rich. Yeah. Does that make sense? Procedural mm -hmm. Great. Is there anything in here you guys think we're missing, or Joe and Rich? Well, I, I think you can we, take a look at it too. Yeah, and I it think I'll certainly I'll spend some more time and, and see if there's anything that I think should be inserted. But yeah, um, so we'll have a like I said, I think the um, the language about being a laid out roadway would be important. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so we can make sure that that's in there. Okay. And then I do think it's important once we. Um, Maybe you can, once you have a good draft, can send it around to us individually, just mm -hmm. so that you, if he gets like an okay individually from us, he can send it to town council for one more review. Mm -hmm. I think this is an inter important one for them yep. to I agree. make sure they're comfortable yeah, let's with. Make sure it's, yep. Okay, she was totally, I mean, she made a few tweaks, but she was totally comfortable with the originals. And I don't think we've made any thing drastic. We haven't made any. I'd be, I'd be curious to hear what she has to say about the length of the road and whether there's yeah. any guidance from mm. other yeah. towns. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like what's yeah. like with the yeah. three residences, if there's, she had. Right. She was very yeah. strong about the three residences. Yeah. And I think we'll get a lot more info after we see the lengths yeah. on, uh, on whatever we I can. Think, I think the length of the streets is what yeah. determines on the no list to yeah. see what kind of burden it would place going forward. Right. And, that we could, and maybe, listen, maybe it needs to be 400 feet. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, it, it depends on yeah. what this comes back at. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Uh, okay. Good. Super progress. All right. Super progress. Um, not bad at all. <laughs> no. So I'll, uh, I'll just allow a couple more minutes of public comment. Yeah, Katie sure, had go ahead. Oh. Oh, right behind you. Thank you for the thoughtful approach to this. Um, oh, and you. then uh, I know this is for uh, roads that are not grandfathered in, but it seems like item five could apply to all private roads. I almost hate to ask that question, 
but because I don't want to complicate it. But oh, it it it, it does already. It does already. I think somewhere it, it, it's a it's a practice already that yeah. if there's an issue, they, yeah. they that we get notification yeah. and. And I think we want to strengthen that language in in some of the agreements that we have, and maybe in general as part of this policy. Sure, yeah. I would agree. Well, wait a minute. I that, just want, that, I just that want to make sure that policy. we get ample notification no. 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 because we're not part no. of this. It, it policy, actually it, it wouldn't it, were to, it wouldn't affect no. this policy. Okay. Well, yeah. I, I guess you say st strengthen the, the language. Well, I mean, the language, if you're saying this is, you know, specific to new, we had criteria for those that were, you know, sort of already accepted, but you're saying this does not apply to those that are grandfathered, but certain things really still should be applying to those. Like the condition of the road. Like the condition of the road. How we want to sort of incorporate that in any document or, or thing that right, is sort of finalized. Right, but that would be a different, finalized. it would be in a different place, not in this. Why wouldn't it be here? Because this is a policy for private roads added after today. Yeah. So, the, so what would be the blanket policy that would cover everything? I guess. But doesn't it already? Like, yeah, I thought it already did. I thought, it was, already I thought the private that roads already had. Well, I think you've got the hood that's open that's now, so I think you know you probably should add so some we language. Can we can look at our other. Um, and see what it says. Well, that's yeah. my point: is that if we're doing stuff. this, if we're doing this, th there should be one policy. And well, no, with, but that's not oh, how policies work. Well, there should be one. Let me finish. There should be one policy, but within that policy, there are exceptions made that might incorporate the first policy. In other words, the condition of the road. So if the condition of the road has to be made, and I agree with that, should be done whether it's grandfathered or whether it's a new right. road, then that should be incorporated. How would you have two separate policies? Because we already have probably in our bylaws or somewhere, um. like, something about this so I just I don't want to like override something that we already this is a this is a policy specifically for for roads after today if this is going to apply to all private roads then most of this doesn't doesn't apply there are aspects of this is that I think that's what what you were saying if correct me if I'm wrong please I don't want to speak for you <coughs> but there are aspects of this policy that apply to both right but this isn't but this isn't the place like for other it's for example there are, there are already multiple policies in town so i just i want us to review those before we start like making a compound policy on okay. this so can, I, only. can i can okay. i oh, yeah just can i just ask a question is there any practice or policy in place that applies to the grandfathered private roads that they have to be maintained in order to be plowed it was, yes, it was very similar to some of the things you see here. Where is okay. it? I'd, I'd be, do we know where? It was, it? The, it was the basis of what you have in front of you, minus the bold. Right, but that that's, a, that's, the, a that's, that's a policy that's now. That's already um, a that was the criteria. That was the criteria used. Criteria. Yeah. So there's not a policy in place right now. There's not a policy. There's criteria that's been in practice. And yeah. have you right. been applying it? Criteria. Yeah, so when, when people have come before the commissioners, we've yeah. certainly looked at that criteria. And, but uh, for the grandfathered roads, have you been applying that to those? We roads? have not excluded anybody on the list that did not meet that. And I think, in essence, that's what you're doing. You, you are stating that this is a criteria. It applies to every private road, but there are there is an, a grandfathered list uh, that if you it's do not, not meet the, the criteria, you would still be plowed because you're grandfathered. Are, are there roads on the list that are not in adequate condition? That they there are a few that I think we would probably say yes, that's the case. So I think we need to. So um, that's another if, topic. If it's all right with if the we're going to start getting. Yeah. yeah. So if it's OK with the board, um, the directors and I can have a conversation about um, okay. How we may best address those okay. and, and still be able to move it forward. Kind okay. of a DPW Perfect. Board of Commissioners take, take yeah. a look too. at, at okay. what's, yeah. what's there. Yeah. That can be kind of a board of DPW Board of Commissioners, too. Maybe it's a I think it, it, it may still end up here because it's the private roads, oh, I think, okay. with the distinction right. that Joe mentioned about public versus private. Okay. Thank you for clarifying. You're welcome. Okay. Um, Bill? Yeah. Bill Wagner, uh, 147 Granite Street. I think that discussion addressed some of the things, but I see um, a number of confusions in the, I guess, the intent of grandfathering all existing private roads that are being plowed along with this new thing, such as, I mean, the, main, the maintaining the roads is, you know, a road is a living thing. So 
it's maintained now, it may not be maintained in the future. So I think you're going to address that. There are many roads around that, do n that have restrictive signage now that are being plowed. Mm -hmm. We already addressed that tonight. Well, you talked about it. But it's not addressed in. We addressed it's it in our it's in the motion. motion. We already did it in the motion. In our initial in our motion. motion, we amended the motion to, okay. to address that. That all all pr all the grandfathered properties will continue to be plowed as long as signage is removed. All signage is removed. That was the amended motion. Okay. Yeah. Oh, here it and is. And it's taken you. care of in this one in number one. That so that wasn't. That I I ways. guess that wasn't quite clear. Yeah. To, so we took care. We to took care of and, that both ways. And the rest of the audience. Yes. That means that there needs to be some notice. And I think embedded in um, this agreement part um, is an implication that all of the current roads meet that, um, that they have full agreement on all the owners abutting the private road. Uh, I'm not sure whether we have all of that on file or not. So uh, no, those are just for to. properties going yeah. forward. We don't need that for, for grandfather properties. We asked the attorney I, that. Yeah, we should say we can leave it as. Yep. Uh, she said I mean the statute can, took you care You can of run it. public vehicles on private land? Yep, because the yes. town accepted that, the, um, the statute. Chapter 40, section 6C. Yep. 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 yep, we did. I we asked her that specifically. Yep. And um, there is a whole section in the bylaws, section 14, about repairing of private ways. Oh, so, okay. Um, okay. so I think Mitch and Joe can look at that and yep. see what needs to be okay. adjusted. Because Good. I think two things. We have this policy, which is... Going forward. Going forward for just non grandfather, but then we need to make sure that our general yep. policy for all private roads is that they're kept in good condition. And this takes care of, I think, a lot of that. Okay, thank you. <coughs> this actually gives the DPW the right to do the to do the work on it. Yeah, it can it, and it says that the town can um, Betterments may be assessed for such repairs at the discretion of town meeting. So it's it's all laid out there. Okay. So, uh, Larry. Before you all go home, <laughs> <laughs> Larry Hale, Chestnut Drive. Uh, you're speaking about grandfathered lists and stuff like that. In 2002, I came before the commissioners. Mr. Burbank said they lost the grandfathered list that was done in the 70s. My road was built in 71. It didn't meet the 300-foot criteria, so it went on the list. So there was no list in 2002. You have created a new one since then with the new criteria, the new roads, and some of the roads that were being done. Somewhere in the late 90s, one of the neighbors had an argument with, uh, I think it was George Robinson, it could have been Don Atkinson, it stopped being plowed. I found out in 2002 when the neighbor moved and all of a sudden the road's not being plowed. Now, I was out plowing, so I don't know who's plowing the road when I'm away plowing myself. And then uh, since then, uh, I've been to the commissioners for 10 years, by the Board of Selectmen for five or six years, listening to what these meetings are about, and nothing's happened. And it's just gone on and on. I see the criteria here. You're doing GIS measurements on roads and not deeded plants, you could be 100 feet beyond the deeded end of a road because you're down in someone's driveway. Mm -hmm. And I researched through all the years with the commissioners, all these private road deeds, because that's where you find out what the real length is, not by what is plowed. You go down Mill Lane, no vehicles beyond this point. You go down over the hill to the pond, I can sit in my window and watch the guy on his phone or smoking a cigarette. That's a hundred and something feet beyond the end of the road. You're on private property, the road stopped at that sign. There's many other ones like that. And there's, you know, when I saw the footage come up on the GIS measurements for these roads, it was way off on a lot of them. Because you're in someone's yard at that point that the last person has an easement to go through the other guy's yard to get to what would be the road. Okay. Because so, I, I know I'm still not on the list yet. <laughs> <laughs> but you have a way to apply for it. <clears throat> well, yeah, I have a way to apply, but I can't change the length of the road. Right. No, but again, well, that no, but there are other criteria that I don't think Larry meets. Right, I, I understand. Yeah. But there, but there but is apply. discretion applied. Yep. Yeah. Toby. <coughs> Toby Arsenio, ninety-five Granite Street. Uh, I question the uh, propriety and the fairness of uh, the whole 
business of having two separate sets of standards, one for grandfathered roads and another set of standards entirely for those who might apply who are not in under the wire. Uh, and and uh, I do remember that uh, Jim Gardner told you that he had sent uh, you what he found on state case law about plowing roads that were dead end, private roads. I wonder how much you, you attention you've paid to that. I've paid a lot of attention to it and I've worked with the town council on it. And uh, I've read everything Jim sent me and the information that the lawyer sent us. I see. And I'm like completely comfortable that we are that we are doing the right thing doing and exactly the town the right thing. Mm -hmm. and Very we good. are doing it the right way and our process and town council was impressed with the process we're taking and the way that the board is going about to create our criteria. Well, you're reassured and I am not and there's still the question I'll, I'll, go, with the <laughs> yeah, I'll go with the lawyers. I'll go with the lawyers too. That's fine. Um, you, there's still the question about the fairness and the propriety of having two sets of standards. And you put in there uh, something about access to beaches. I, I suppose you mean Pebble Beach. Uh, you also should have something. We don't mean anything specifically. There's nothing specific. There are lots of beaches in town. OK. Uh, I think you need something in there as well about access to watersheds that the commissioners deem necessary. And it's then. It's access at any, that we seem deem necessary to anything. I mean, the list would go on and on. Those are just examples. But obviously the watersheds are important, and we already plow certain, I believe we plow certain roads because of Bed access Rock, to watersheds. Uh, well, yep. yes. well, if you've said beaches, you better add watersheds as you know, the commissioners deem necessary. And I think the business at the end of allowing the board to make exceptions to the rules makes a mockery of the whole thing. If there are going to be exceptions, the rules aren't rules. It's uh, a matter of favoritism and whimsy, and that's the way it will be be perceived and those who are excluded will hold it against you and you'll have okay. no we're peace. Gonna, we're going to okay. end it. Thank you. Thank you. Nope, Thank that's you. it. We're going to end you. it. We'll end it at favoritism well, well, again. Been oh, no, no. Well, I, just meant, I just meant end Toby's comment. Toby's, yeah. We'll end it as usual at a favoritism comment. Yeah, right. <laughs> we're on the Go tape. right ahead. Uh, Katie Gardner, Timmy Lane. Hi. Hi. Katie. I'm glad you came on this. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. Uh, thank you. I, can I first ask you a question? Um, you were talking about uh, plowing some of the, the roads that are grandfathered in <coughs> and using private driveways and where to put snow. So are you, you're currently at times using private driveways to turn around and put to really leave snow? Correct. Okay. Thank you. So I guess, oh. <laughs> 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 let me try standing back here. Um, I was, it <coughs> occurs to me that maybe it's good to have the same standard. If they're doing that with the existing roads, then maybe to consider that with the new criteria. Uh, but also I want to thank Mr. Campbell for your amendments. Thank uh, you. Really because, uh, at Tumuling we have 200 feet and it's not a driveway. They're, they're, if we had the driveway, so, as well as the other amendments. But I think the real thing I want to say is that well, this is really a basic service for people. And we talked about community and the vote recently. And I know that everybody was in favor of doing this. I remember the vote. Um, and, we, and I know money is always an issue. But we also spend a lot of money on things that don't benefit everybody. And I think ultimately you guys are going to decide, do you want to be inclusive and provide this service to people and something again it's just I, I see it as a basic service so um, that's all I have to say thank you. Okay. <laughs> thank you yeah I mean I think that's exactly what we're trying to do we're trying to to provide for people who are taxpayers we just have to we have to be reasonable and it's a balance with dr with finding driveways I think that's why we're tweaking the not the hundred three hundred I think that's why we're tweaking yeah. that and the lawyer was adamant that we cannot plow drive, you know, we cannot plow driveways. And so that's why we have to come up with some kind of balance. Right. That and, and to get to, to what she's saying and, and my intent and, and just my mindset of where I'm coming from, we wouldn't have plows in this town if it wasn't for the people who pay for them. And to, to try to 
exclude some people. Yeah. This is was a, was a long needed step to get us there to have a good policy in place. Again, that can be fixed after the fact if we find any any inaccuracies or something yeah. that makes it too much too burdensome. Yeah. So I mean, to be fair, I, we have plow. We've never stopped plowing people. So no, no, like, I, I understand so that. That's why I've, that's all these like miscommunicated people are like, oh my, like we have never proposed like this board. We have never proposed like cut it, you know, like chopping the list. I don't. There's some petition, no. all this. That's just craziness and this no. like none of us have ever you no. know and it was and not, it, that wasn't discussed here tonight right. and it shouldn't be exactly it's not appropriate. right right, right. So. right. So. Uh, mr. Seppala yes uh, Z Seppala 92 Granite Street uh, I just want to pick up on some question that Denise Donnelly asked regarding what is the capacity for the DPW uh, in response to her question, Joe Parisi indicated that it couldn't help but dilute some present operations. And uh, I have a question quantitatively about how much it might dilute present operations. Uh, what I'd really like to know from Joe Parisi is, do we have uh, quantitative and good data on how many hours and how much uh, town money and so on and such goes into our present plowing and street clearing and how much we might likely anticipate under the uh, say maximum condition that anybody that is now paying a private contractor to plow theirs uh, decides to get onto the town uh, being as it's been so eloquently said that uh, it's a uh, right of all townspeople to have uh, plowed roads. So I would really like to know quantitatively Joseph um, what what might we see in the future if if the most people come on to that have had private contracts? Right. Well, we we certainly have a listing of, of roads here. Um, I guess looking at the criteria or, or trying to match up those that could possibly make it um, based on that criteria, and if they all were accepted, I suppose there could be some analysis done on the cost of road miles added to the budget, but. Uh, Again, that's a lot of analysis and, and right for that list. We don't even have road, road lengths yeah. on those right. on so, the, that I mean, list yet. But I mean, right. cer on certain the estimates can be done. It's going to take some time to do it. Right, and, and Mitch could also probably. Um, there are several like a, uh, I I don't want to say majority without knowing definitively, but a good portion of those are also right of way. You know, aren't even laid out roads. Mm -hmm. So that would. Like I said, we'd have to go through the, the exactly. list of those that right. were applied and, and right. try to get an idea of possibly what could be accepted if they were to apply exactly. for Exactly. So by no means is it that right. entire list. Right. Because, so so it looks Jeff. like it's actually a pretty short, in the end, it will probably not be. not adding hundreds of roads. Not no, but, adding right. hundreds. But the point is that everything that, the, the budget that's there now for snow plowing is, the is, an, is a known quantity. Right. And it, and it includes everybody that's yeah, on exactly. here already. So All that's eight, done. Right. Exactly. So now we're looking at 74 potential. Well, it's pieces. way less than 74. Okay. Yeah. Then, then way they less go. So, than 74. I mean, I don't know what the cost would be. And then, right. should they, what if something doesn't meet the criteria? Could it be applied for on a paid basis? Oh, uh, we've talked about that. They DP. That's that we can't, can't get into that. Can't no. do that. Okay. Liability wise, and that's actually the lawyers like you can't. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. That's come up in the past though, because okay. at one point somebody proposed, "Hey, why don't you just charge everyone to plow?" And we're like, "Whoa, whoa, everyone's already oh, <laughs> paying." <my gosh. laughs> okay. But that would also not probably not be ideal. <laughs> okay. But yeah. Um, yeah. So right. anyway, okay. Any other questions? Comments? Yeah, good. Okay. So what's left on our to-do list for everything? So you're going to come up with a final draft, and then do you mind shooting so, it to us individually? Yes, yeah, so I'll do that. So that reach we can out for get feedback. back to him individually, and then if if he gets the go-ahead from us, he can just run it by town council, so that at our next mm -hmm. meeting we have like the final draft. So we'll be we'll be voting on a final draft of a plowing private roads policy at our next meeting. Yeah, have Bar barring any issues. Yes. Right. Any. Yeah, okay. Any good. Yep. Perfect. Is it Tuesday? Perfect. It is Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. And, yep. and we'll get a list of the um, length of the. Yes, we'll work with the, with DPW yeah. to yep. get the okay. uh, additional. I, mean, I, I, I truly think there are at least half of these that are absolutely no way Jose Roads. I mean, that aren't, that aren't <laughs> laid out Anch roads. Anchorage right. condominiums right. are right. private. Right. Yes, that <laughs> is. So like, you know, and, and Joe, honestly, just so that your guys aren't like take, you know, 
get the ones I mean, that aren't le that we couldn't legally plow anyway. Right. Like just cross them off okay. because I mean two of them you know, are funder groups. Right, and that's legally we can't even if right. someone's like oh but we're ten feet less if we can't plow it legally we can't plow it and right. the lawyer was like that's mm -hmm. there's no getting around that no exception. Got it. So it's not even so I just don't want to waste time town resources on stuff that we know we can't do, mm -hmm. right? Correct. Okay. Correct. So you'll right. send something to us. Yes, right. I will yeah. reach out once we get some of these adjustments, right. um, mm -hmm. and there will be there, there'll be one thing that I'll, I'll reach out to council first on the length to get so some right. of that addressed, yeah. and then yeah. then we'll get okay. we'll get it. I'm very encouraged. Cool. This was this is yeah. a, yeah. a good workshop. Good. I think it was yep. a good workshop. This worked out well. Okay. Yep. So I don't uh, motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Do we <laughs> hold on? Do we have open motions here? Nope. We voted on the top one. We didn't. We voted so we're good, right? Okay. Aye. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Great.